Hello everybody, this is Superfane99. Before we begin, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and click the notification bell to be notified when I post a new video. It really helps out the channel. Today, it is time, the first scenario of the Forgotten Age with Finn and Ursula, the Untamed Wilds. Let's get into it. First, we're going to draw our opening hands. I hope this is very good. This is a very key opening scenario. So we have Hidden Pocket, Finn's Trusty 38, Hatchet Man, Dissection Tools, and a Trench Coat. Okay, well, we do like the gun. I think. Um, I think the Trench Coat will stay, as well as the gun. And I'm going to toss the rest. So we will get Mauser, the Devil, God damn it, and an E-Cash. Okay, well, I guess that kind of makes up for it. That's still kind of annoying, but I'm... Hmm. Let's see. As long as we can go fast with Ursula, hopefully that all will work out. Perception, map the area, e cast, true understanding, and find clothes. Well, we have two of the pieces of my thing. So we're going to keep the map, the area, and the find clothes, and I'm going to toss the rest. I'm looking for Wit and Green specifically. Perception, deduction, tooth of Okay, that's not the worst. That is not the worst. Could be better, not the worst. All right. Now let's go to scenario one, the Untamed Wilds. Sunday, June 28th, 1925. It's been one hell of a day. We just set up camp along the northern border of the rainforest where Alejandro believes the Esley once dwelt. The jungle here is dense and untamed. The sky hides above the tree cover. But I can tell from the crisp breeze that storm clouds are brewing overhead. The dangers of our expedition have been explained to us many times. We are hundreds of miles from any sign of civilization. Nobody in modern times has yet to pierce the heart of these wilds. Until now, nobody has held reason to try. After all, it wouldn't make sense to find Aztec ruins in this region of Mexico. And yet, here we are, looking for ruins that may not exist, in a place where, by all accounts, they should not. Already, one of our surveyors has fallen ill, and another has been bitten by a viper. I'm starting to think the rainforest doesn't want us here. This luck persists. Ours will be the shortest expedition in Miskatonic University's history. Tonight, we rest. Tomorrow, we venture into uncharted wilds. Set up. Gather all cards from the following encounter sets. The Untamed Wilds, Rainforest, Serpents, Expedition, Guardians of Time, Agents of Yig, Poison, and Ancient Evil. Sets are indicated by the following icons. So here we are. We have Untamed Wilds, Rainforest, Serpents, Expedition. Uh, Expedition, Guardians of Time, Agents of Yig, Poison, and Ancient Evils. Put the Expedition Camp into play. Each investigator begins play at the Expedition Camp. Here's that location. Create the Exploration Deck. This is done by taking the five single-sided jungle locations and shuffling them together, along with one copy each of the following treachery cards. Lost in the Wilds, Overgrowth, Snake Bite, Low on supplies and arrows from the trees. All right, so here are our five jungle locations. We have Lost in the Wild, Overgrowth, Snake Bite, Low on supplies, and arrows from the trees. Set the following cards aside out of play the three single sided ruins locations, the Agents of Yig encounter set, and the, the four poisoned, weak, four poisoned weaknesses, the Alejandro Vela story asset, and the Ichtaka enemy. The Agents of Yig encounter set is identified by that icon. All right, so here are our three jungle locations. Uh, we have the Agents of Yig encounter set, which is all right here. We have the four poison weaknesses, which are all here. We have Alejandro Vela and Ishtaka. All right, shuffle the encounter, running the counter cards, and we are now ready to begin. So I'm going to do that, and I'll be right back. And we are now ready to begin. So our agenda. Agenda 1A, Expedition into the Wild. Your expedition has ventured far into the rainforests of southern Mexico in search of the forgotten Aztec city-state. What will you find when you head deeper into the untamed jungle? As an action, we can explore. And we need six doom thresholds. We're looking for connecting locations when we explore, by the way. Act 1A, Exploring the Rainforest. Today, you depart from your camp in order to find the ruins Alejandro seeks. That is, if they even exist. Objective, when the round ends, investigators at any non-campsite locations may spend the requisite number of clues as a group to advance. We need six clues total. We are playing on standard difficulty. 
we have two skulls, which are a minus X. X is the number of vengeance points in the victory display, which obviously is currently zero. Uh, and we have one elder thing, which is a minus two. If you are poisoned, this test automatically fails instead. We are starting at the expedition camp. The camp is abuzz with both excitement and of uh, and dread. Uh, some no some members of the expedition are setting up an additional, setting up additional, what is that? Canvas tents for supplies. Yeah, while others are huddled around in com in an, on an, uh, around an incomplete map of the northern edge of the continent. One trout, no clues. As an action, we can resign. The wilds are too dangerous. As an action, check your supplies. If you have a map, we don't, but we would be able to uh, modify the exploration deck. Okay, I think I'm going to have Finn go first. So he's going to play an e-cash and immediately spend that to play the devil and then spend three resources to play a trench coat. So a total of three resources being spent to play both of these. And that's his turn. Ursula, you are going to spend three to play the Tooth of Esli. Um, Do we play the fine clothes yet? I don't think we need to. So let's explore. So we take the top card of the exploration deck. If it's a location, we move to it. It's not, of course. Lost in the Wilds. Revelation. Test three willpower. If you fail, take a one horror for each point you fail by and add Lost in the Wilds to your threat area. If you cannot move or explore, force at the end of your turn, discard it. Okay. So we currently have... Four to three because of the Tooth of Esli. Do we have any willpower? Uh, we do have one, but I think I'm good. So we're going four to three. That is a zero. We will succeed. So that goes away. And because we succeeded on a treachery card, we will draw a card with the Tooth of Esli. It is a shortcut. Uh, third action. I think we're going to explore again. Looking for a connecting location. It's an overgrowth. Never mind. Uh, put it, Attach it to your location. Limit one per location. You cannot explore at attached location. As an action, test combat four to hack through the brush. Or book four to find another route. Okay. Going smoothly, of course. Well, that is her turn. So let us go to upkeep. Finn draws a watch this. That should get some money back. Ursula draws self-destructive. Okay. We're not going to be dealing damage. That's fine. And they each get a resource. One doom on the agenda out of six. Our first encounter card of the day for Finn Edwards is Voice of the Jungle. Revelation put into play in your threat area. Force at the end of your turn. If you did not successfully explore this turn, take one horror. As an action, we can test three willpower. If you succeed, discard Voice of the Jungle. Um, that may have to be something that Ursula does for him. Ursula will draw Creeping Poison, Surge. Revelation, each investigator who is poisoned takes a damage. No one is poisoned, so we will not do anything. Ursula then draws Low on Supplies. You must decide, Peril. Choose one. Each investigator loses two resources. Each investigator takes a damage. Each investigator chooses and discards one card that they control. Uh, asset they control, I mean. I think we're fine to take the damage right now. Put one in trench coat and one on Ursula herself. Okay. I'm thinking Ursula's job this round is just to clear some things off. So we're going to start by trying to clear the overgrowth as an action. We're testing four to four. We're going to commit this perception to go six to four. That is a minus one. We will succeed. Draw a card from the perception. It is another map the area. Um, we did succeed at a skill test while resolving an ability on a treachery card. So we will draw a card to get true understanding. I think we'll also try and test uh, the Voice of the Jungle. We're currently four to three. Yeah, resolving an ability on Treachery Card. Yeah. We're four to three. Uh, that is a Skull, which is a, another also a zero. 
So we will discard that. And then Ursula's last action will be to explore. My god, it is a snake bite. Camera focus, please. There we go. Test three, agility. If you fail, you must either deal five damage to an ally asset you control or become poisoned. Huh. So we're currently five to three. Yeah, we'll commit one of these map areas. Um, oh, actually. Oh, no, never mind. I can't do that. So we are five to three then. Oh, no, we're already five to three with Tooth of Essence. Actually, I'm okay. I, th I think I'm okay with that. Literally only the minus three and the minus five. That is an Elder Sign, which lets us succeed, but we can't move anyway, so we're done. Okay, well, we are getting rid of a lot of treacheries in there, at least. Uh, that is Ursula's turn. What a turn. Uh, Finn, you are going to explore. You're drawing the Rope Bridge. It is a connecting location. Two Shroud, one Percluse. Forced, when you attempt to explore while at Rope Bridge, test two Agility. If you fail, cancel the exploration, take two damage, lose all remaining actions, and end your turn. Place your investigator in the River Canyon if it is not in play. Search the encounter deck, sorry, the exploration deck for the River Canyon. Put it into play and shuffle the exploration deck. So, uh, yeah, don't die at the don't <laughs> don't fall off the bridge, effectively. Uh, and we have two clues there, so Finn could do some investigating. That was his first action. Uh, sure. Second action. Uh, let's investigate. We're four to two. Is a minus two. We will succeed. Third action. Let's do it again. Uh, Elder thing is also a minus two, so we will succeed. Alrighty. Let's go to upkeep. Finn will draw. I'll take that. Oh, we could have used that for to play our gun. That's okay. Ursula will draw the Grim Memoir. That is good. Especially if we get wooden green eventually. Alrighty, we are two out of six. Finn's encounter card is the Ezteli Guardian. Spawn any empty location, ancient if able. For fight, two health, two evade. Alert, aloof. Forced when enemies attack during the enemy phase. The if Ezteli Guardian is ready and unengaged, it attacks each investigator at each connecting location. We are lucky, however. We have no empty locations, so the SC Claridian will fail to spawn, and so we will discard it. As for Ursula, we have Ancient Evils, because, of course. All right, I think, let's see. Do we, run a, bleh, do we want to risk failing at the River Canyon? I think Ursula is going to go first. She's going to play the Grim Memoir for three. Comes with four secrets. Yeah, I think we can test that. We're going to move. Then we're going to explore. So first we test foot two. We have four to two. This is not a treachery card, so we don't get our bonus from the Tooth of Esley. Uh, that is a skull, which is a zero. So we will successfully, we will allow us to explore. It is, fuck me, arrows from the trees. Take a damage, take a damage. Jesus. Is that all the treacheries? I think there's like one more. How many cards are in here? Five cards in here? Yeah, there's one more treachery. Um, play, move, explore. Well, that's <laughs> that's Ursula's turn again. God dang it. Uh, Finn, I guess it's your job. So you are going to explore. Uh, Serpent's Haven is not connected. It's a triangle, right? Yeah. Uh, River Canyon is connected, because of course it is. So the River Canyon. Four Shroud, one per clues. As an action, heal a damage from an investigator at River Canyon. Check your supplies. If you have a canteen, heal two additional damage. The river is deeper than it appears. Ripples along the surface obscure the creatures li that lie within. Water cascades onto the river, fr uh, into the river from above, causing a strong, steady current. Okay. 
if I can get my location connectors, please. There we go. And it's two clues here. Okay, it's a little tough to explore, uh, investigate here. But I think we might move on. Uh, that was his first action. So second action, we're going to go again, Finn. Uh, Path of Thorns, that is connected. It's all the way over here. Okay. Path of Thorns, three shroud, one per. Forced, after you fail a skill test while investigating Path of Thorns, take a damage. Forced, after you explore while at Path of Thorns, if, if the exploration was not successful, take a damage. Okay. Oops. Uh, and that has two clues. Honestly, Finn might move back to make sure that we're next to Ursula. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah. Um, we could go four to three. That's not the best. Yeah, we'll move back. Okay. Let's go to upkeep. Finn will draw a pickpocketing. Gain a resource. Ursula will draw a deduction. That that that's gonna be it's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. Gain a resource. Checking one, two, three, four, five, six, seven cards in hand. Okay. Four Doom out of six. Finn's encounter card is another Esley Guardian. This time he will spawn. Um, I guess I'm going to spawn him at the expedition camp. Ursula will draw another snake bite. Okay. So we're five to three. I think I'm actually okay with that. Well, that is a plus one. Wow. So we will succeed, and we also draw a card from the Tooth of Esley. It is went green. Okay, good, 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 good. Okay, so let's see. We need six clues. We currently have two. We need four more. Move, or let's say play, move, and then explore. I think is probably good. Yeah. Yeah. So we are going to. Oh, we don't have money for Witten Green. That would make sense. Huh. Okay. We'll save up for her. Uh, we are going to move. We're going to use her reaction to activate the Grim Memoir, spending a secret. So now we have six to four. I'm going to commit this deduction to go seven to four. And I'm hoping for a minus one so we succeed by two. Oh, that's a minus three. So seven to four. We do succeed still. We don't succeed by two. Though. Okay, that's okay. Uh, we do, however, get both clues. That was one action so far. Uh, second action we're going to explore. It is Serpent's Haven, which does connect. Good. Two shroud, two per clues. Each serpent enemy at Serpent's Haven gets plus one fight. Forced, after you investigate or explore while at Serpent's Haven. If you are poisoned, take a damage. Victory one. Okay. Um, I think last action is going to be to investigate again. Uh, ooh. Yeah, we'll investigate again. Commit the deduction. Go for... Oh, we'll use the grim mem grim bleh, the grim memoir as well. So four, five, six, seven to two. That's a minus one. We succeed, bleh, we succeed by four, so we will draw a card from the grim memoir. It is another with copy of Witten Green. We'll get two clues. Uh, and that is her turn. All right. Finn, your turn. You are going to move down here. Hmm. I guess you're going to play pickpocketing. Third action. 
third action, I think, will be to draw a card. Yeah. Yeah, draw a card. It is Lonnie Ritter. Okay, good. Let's go to upkeep. Finn will draw a leather coat. So that's also good. Ursula will draw perception. And that is good. All right, so there is five Doom on the agenda out of six. Finn's encounter card is Lost in the Wilds. Oh, boy. Honestly, we could just fail that. One to three. Yeah, that sounds about right. Absolutely. We take three horror, and we cannot move. So that's okay. The plan was not to move anyway. Ursula will draw... Oh, God! The Boa Constrictor. Okay. Well, that's something to deal with. Okay. I think at the end of this round, we're going to advance. So let us get ready. Um, Finn is going to start by... Yeah. By playing Lonnie Ritter for four resources... Second action, engage the Boa Constrictor. Third action, ev or sorry, third and free action to evade the Boa Constrictor. Oh, okay, hold on. Sorry, sorry, sorry. We're not going to play Lonnie first. I'm done. I have four resources. We're going to engage first and free evade, and I'm going to commit this, watch this, and put three money on it. Get our money's worth. So we're going four, five, six to two. Six to two. Six to two. Succeed by one. Sounds good. That is a minus one. We are five to two. Succeed by three. So uh, we'll get three money from watch this. Three additional money, I should say. We evaded an enemy. So we'll draw a card off of pickpocketing, which is a quick thinking. Okay, that was two actions. We have two actions left. We will play Lonnie. Uh, we could investigate. Yeah, let's investigate. We're 4 to 2. Sure. Yeah. I didn't actually read the bow constrictor, but let me do that. So, 4 fights, 4 health, 2 evade, creature, serpent, hunter, forest. After bow constrictor attacks you during the next upkeep phase, your exhausted cards cannot run you. Vengeance 2 with a damage and a sanity. And a, sorry, a horror. That's why I don't want to kill it, because it has vengeance. I'm four to two. Oh, holy shit! Oh my god, <laughs> vengeance got both clues. So we got a plus one from that, and we were five to two. We succeed by two, we get both clues. Whoa, my god. Oh, Jesus. Uh, that's Finn's turn. Oh, we also succeeded by. F uh, f we succeeded by three. So I'm going to play I'll Take That because we successfully investigated. Play an item asset from your hand, reducing its cost by three. Uh, and I will play... Yeah, maybe. I, I'm going to play this Mousing for one. Still cost one. That was awesome. Okay, Ursula's turn. You need to set up. So, you're going to play Fine Clothes for one. You are then going to play Map the Area for one. Uh, and so, you are testing at A, uh, adding our agility. Four plus four is eight. Eight to two. Well, that's an Elder Sign. Sure. I guess we'll move after this. Um, we do attach it here. So now everything here is minus one difficulty. And sure, we'll move up here. We'll take the free move to investigate. We're going to investigate with the Grim Memoir. So we are four, five, six to three. So 
Skull is a minus zero. We succeed by three, so we will draw a card by the Grim Memoir. It is another Grim Memoir. We'll get a clue. Uh, okay, and then that was all our first action. Yeah. Uh, second action, let's investigate again. Or four to three. Might as well get this clue. Might be able to use it later. Oh, okay. We'll get it. And then we'll move back. Okay. Upkeep, and then we're going to advance at the end of this round. So this will engage onto... Uh, this should also go away. That will engage onto Finn. Let's go to upkeep. Finn will draw hidden pocket. Get a resource. Ursula will draw Unearth the Ancients. Get a resource. And checking hand size. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good. Okay, before we go to the Mythos phase, we'll advance the act. I'm going to spend four from Finn and two from Ursula. The Natives. As you explore the dense jungle, you are suddenly confronted by several natives. At first glance, they appear to be warriors of an Aztec city-state. Perhaps even the one you seek. But how could they have survived undiscovered for so long? Even with Alejandro's notes, you are barely able to translate what this warrior says. Only that they call you intruder and implore you to leave the jungle at once. You try to explain you are searching for the Esli, which causes them to murmur and debate among themselves. Finally, one of them speaks to you in rudimentary Spanish. Ishtaka will know what to do with you, intruder. He blows an, on a decorated clay, decorated clay ocarina, producing a shrill note that echoes throughout the jungle. The warriors depart as suddenly as they arrive. Put the set-aside Ishtaka enemy into play at the lead investigator's location. Shuffle the encounter discard pile into the encounter deck. So, Ishtaka. Keeper of the faith. Of the, uh, of the Esli. What the heck? Five fight, four health, four evade, humanoid Esli elite. Alert hunter, uh, alert retaliate. As an action parlay, test four intellect to convince Ishtaka that you are not her enemy. If you succeed, place one clue from the token bank on her. If you fail and Ishtaka is ready, she attacks you. So we're going to have that ready onto uh, Finn because we just spawned it. We put it into play at this location. So, And then shuffle the encounter deck, in, uh, encounter discard pile into the encounter deck. I'm going to do that while I read the new act. Huntress of the Esli. I don't trust them, Alejandro says as soon as the natives are out of earshot. They mean to kill us, not aid us. If you think this Ichtaka is going to help us find the ruins, be my guest, but I refuse to follow where she leads. You can feel the discomfort and confusion in Alejandro's voice. You can attempt to speak with Ichtaka, or you can take Alejandro's advice and fight your way to the ruins you seek. Objective, if Ichtaka is defeated, advance. Objective, if there are one per clues on Ichtaka, place her in the victor display and advance. Uh, so we are for sure going to talk to her, because that's how I roll. Uh, but it is the uh, mythos phase, so we are going to advance the agenda before before long anyway. Uh, in fact, right now. This could be bad, depending on how this goes. Okay, still shuffling the encounter deck. And one last one. Here we go. Oops. So, six doom out of six. The Serpent's Attack! After hours of exploration and futile attempts to stop, uh, to snap, to map out the wilds, you're convinced something is watching your progress, stalking your every move. The shapes of large serpentine creatures slither in the brush all around you. You try to back away, but the creatures have you completely surrounded, hissing at you from all sides. Suddenly, several shapes emerge from the brush. Human-sized creatures with the bodies of serpents and arms wielding spears and jagged knives. The creatures are savage, attacking you fiercely. Somehow, you manage to flee to safety, through the, though the sensation that you are being watched remains. Although you survive the encounter, you are confronted with a stark reality. 
This place is home to creatures beyond your understanding. Shuffle the Encounter discard pile in the set aside Agents of Yig Encounter set into the Encounter deck. Well, I just shuffle for no reason then. Give me those cards, please. Here we go. Uh, yep. Okay. Each investigator test. Uh, here it is. Each investigator tests willpower three. Each investigator who fails performs the following in order. If you're poisoned, take a damage and a horror. If you are not poisoned, put a set aside. You become poisoned. Oh, God. Okay, Finn. I need to get you up to three. In player order, right? Oh, each investigator. Okay, let's do this for Finn first. It's not a treachery, unfortunately, for two of the best, but we can at least get Finn even because um, skulls are zero. We have three zeros in there. There's only one minus one, so it's not kind of worth to get it up one, I think. If we can help it, like, I would like to not be poisoned. That would be ideal. Oh my god! Reduce the difficulty of all skill tests at a task location by one. I totally forgot that that's why I brought it. Because I, I I was going to bring it for a talk as parlay, but this actually is difficulty two for everybody now. Wow. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay, yeah. So, Finn, you are going one to two. You're going to commit this quick thinking. Ursula, can you help at all? Yeah, you can commit this map the area, I guess. So, Finn is up one. You're three to two. Ooh, that's a zero. Let's go. Oh, my God. Uh, we did not succeed by three. Oh, sorry, by two, I mean, for quick thinking, but that's okay. Uh, next is Ursula. We are currently three to two. Uh, I'm going to commit the shortcut. Go four to two. And that's a skull for a zero. Wow. Map the area. MVP. Intruders. What was once excitement has turned to dread. This place is far deadlier than you could have imagined. It is, it is as though the jungle itself wants you out. As an action explorer, nine doom threshold. And that is our final agenda. Whew. Okay, so Finn is definitely going to go first and try and evade. We're going to try and evade Ichitaka. We are 5 to 3. That's not bad. Let's do it. Five to three with map the area. That's an another elder sign. Jesus. We will evade Ichitaka. We also evaded a enemy, so we will draw from pickpocketing. It is fuck me. <laughs> Caught red-handed. Ready each enemy at your location or connecting location. Each hunter enemy at a connecting location moves one location towards you. If no enemies move as a result of this effect, god damn it. Okay, well, it's talkable ready then. That's really annoying. Finn, you motherfucker. Alright, well, I guess we'll try again. This time for real. So we are five to three. Again. She has alert. Okay, that's a zero. She's evaded for real this time. Uh, try the other evade. Five to one. Minus two. Good. Third action. Explore? I guess so. Yeah. Third action, explore. I don't... Actually, I don't know if we can find anything. Oh, okay. Well, we found that. <laughs> uh, low on supplies. I think we'll... We'll each take a damage. We're doing well on soak, I think. Damage-wise, at least. Uh, well, I guess Aerosol has three now. But it, it's fine. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. Uh, and that is uh, Finn's turn. There's only one card, though. It's dislocation. Got it. All right. Ursula. Ursula. Parlay Ishtaka. 
you are going four to one. That's pretty good. Minus two, we will succeed. Put a clue on her. Uh, and then I think... Yeah, I'll commit this. Commit perception. Go f uh, six to one. Okay. I don't actually... I don't want to move. I guess I could move up here. Because I think the other one uh, connects here. Yeah. So I, I could... Anyway, let's uh see what we'll see what happens. Uh, we'll draw a card from perception. It is field work. That's good. Uh, and then we get a clue on her. Uh, I think we need to resolve this before we choose we move. But yeah, put her in the victor display, and we advance. It's Taka's response. Uh, if there are one per clue center, there were. Interesting. You are not simply here to shed blood, Ishtaka says with a spark of wonder in her voice, and you are stunned to hear her speaking in perfect English. Remember that Ishtaka is leading the way. Add a cultist token to the chaos bag, which I have right here. For the minute, uh, shovel the three set aside ruins locations into the exploration deck. That sounds good to me. Uh, and then advance to Act 3A, Search for the Ruins. Okay, this is in the bag. This is done. Search for the Ruins. We don't need the other one. If I cannot dissuade you, so be it. Follow me, and I will lead you to the place you seek. But heed my warning. Disturb the ruins at your own risk. They have remained hidden for a reason. Alejandro warily keeps a safe distance from Ichtaka as she, as she shows you the way. Each Esli guardian enemy cannot attack or be attacked. Ignore the effects of each arrow from the tre tree's treachery. Objective, only investigators at the ruins of Esli can spend the requisite number of clues as a group to advance. Uh, we need nine, six clues. Okay, then we will complete our move. That's our second action because we parlayed twice. Uh, third action, we're going to explore. We're looking for hearts, I think. Oh, oops, it was upside down. Not connected. Uh, here it is. So, the circuitous trail. One trout, one per clue. As an additional cost for you to in investigate or explore while at circuitous trail, check your supplies. If no investigator location has a compass, you must spend three resources. Uh, Finn has a compass, but n Ursula does not. Okay. So, we're going to need to get Finn over there. Okay, connections, connections. They're not connected to each other, unfortunately. Uh, and also, Ursula doesn't have the money to do investigate. That's unfortunate. Um, so that's her turn. That kind of sucks. Actually, oh, for you to investigate, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, let's go to upkeep. So ready onto him. Ready that. Finn is going to draw. You handle this one. That could have been useful earlier. Ursula is going to draw of another field work. Get a resource. Okay, we are one doom out of nine. Come on. Finn's encounter card is a pit viper. Three fight, one health, three evade. Forced after it deals damage to you from its attack. If you are not poisoned, become poisoned. Vengeance one. Okay. Ursula will draw Brood of Yig. Two fight, three health, two evade. Hunter. Brood of Yig gets plus one fight for each vengeance point in the victor display. One and one. It doesn't have vengeance, luckily, but it's still annoying. Um, I think, unfortunately, we're going to have to not do anything about that Brood of Yig. We're just going to have to evade it, probably. Yeah. So let's start with Finn. The free evade. We're going to evade the Pit Viper. We are five to two because of the map the area. That is a minus three. We will evade the Pit Viper. Draw a card from pickpocketing. It is a dissection tools. 
evade the boa constrictor. We are five to one. This is our first real action. Didn't put any ammo on this nozzle. Minus two, we will also evade the pit, the bow constrictor. Then we're just going to move twice. One, two. All right. Uh, blah, 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 blah. We are going to try and evade the bird of yake. We are four to two right now. Yeah. I mean, up two is actually pretty good for this scenario. Skull is a zero. We will succeed and evade it. Uh, and then I think we're just going to investigate twice. Uh, once with the Grim Memoir. We are six. Actually, no, I'm going to keep that. We're four to one. Zero. We will get a clue. Do it again. Because uh, Finn has a compass, so we don't need to spend anything. Skull is a zero. Get both clues. Victory, baby. All right, let's go to upkeep. These will ready. This guy will ready onto Finn. This will ready. Go to up. Uh, draw a card. Got a thirty-one dar uh, eighteen derringer. That's actually a really good card for Finn, I think. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ursula is gonna draw another tooth of Esley. I only have one accessory slot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight cards. Okay. We have two Doom out of nine. Finn will draw Ancient Evils. Well, all right. It was going to happen. There are two more in the deck. Ursula will draw. Lost in the Wilds. Okay. We currently have three, four to three. I'll commit this other Tooth of Esley to go five to three. That is a skull. Okay. Um, I just realized the cultists are a minus five right now. Oops. Uh, minus X, X is the number of locations in place. So that's, we need to be careful of that. Um, we do, however, succeed on a ability on a treachery. So we will draw a card with Tooth of Esli. It is another, or not the Ancients. Um, okay. Okay, so we need to be careful here because that guy could hunt. It's actually not the worst thing in the world if it hunts to us. I think Ursula is going to start with an explorer. Yeah. Explore. Uh, that does not connect. Uh, that does connect, and that is where we need to go. Okay. So that's the Ruins of Esli. Three Shroud, two per clues. After you fail a skill test while investigating Ruins of Esli, draw the top card of the encounter deck. Victory two. Uh, okay, we're going to take her action, or reaction, I should say, to investigate. We're currently four. We're going to use the Grim Memoir to investigate. We're six to three. Uh, yeah. Oh, I could have played Fieldwork. That's okay. Six to three. I think that's going to... Ah, fuck. I'm going to commit this Unearth the Agents. Eight to three. Oh, I'm glad I did that. Holy shit. That's a minus five. Because this is max minus five. So, succeed by zero. So, we don't get a card. But we do, however, get the clue. Okay, that was her first action. Uh, honestly, I might go back. Try and get the other one that was here. It's pretty tough, but I think second action, I'm going to move. Oh, God. Yeah, I'm going to move back here for second action. Third action, I'm going to play field work. Yeah. All right, Finn, you have this brood of Yig on you. It's probably time to just kill it. Um, yeah. 
Let's uh, shoot with the Mauser. We are three, four, five to two. That's a minus one. So we will deal two damage and also get to either gain a resource or ready the Mauser. Three, four. I think we will just gain a resource with it. Uh, because now we're just going to punch. Yeah. Actually, this is even... Huh, this is interesting. We're going to do a free evade. We're five to two. Minus three. We will evade it. Evaded an enemy, so we will pickpocketing to draw a card. Mother. <sighs> okay, fine. Uh, connecting location. So, no moving still, but it still does engage us. Actually, let's engage it with Ursula. <laughs> oh, God. I need to shuffle my deck. Um, so, that was a free evade. <laughs> this, pick this pickpocketing is becoming my enemy. Um. I'm going to then, second action, first action was to shoot. Second action, I'm going to play a dissection tools. Then I'm going to punch. We are 3, 4 to 2. Mm, yeah, I'll commit this leather coat. Go 5 to 2. That's Jesus. That's an elder sign. Okay. Well, we will just succeed and kill it. And we defeated an enemy, so we will get an evidence on our dissection tools. So we have plus one foot. That's our turn. Hunters. I'm going to have the boa constrictor move up here. So it's equidistant. We will go to upkeep. Ready everything. Finn is going to draw Fens in low places. A little late for that, but that's okay. Ursula is going to draw Jake Williams. Well, we haven't played an ally yet. We haven't had the money. Well, I guess we could use Unearth the Ancients to play um, Winton Green, potentially. It's a little tough, but I think it's possible. Okay, we are four out of nine. I'm hopeful we can get one more location with victory on it. I'm not hopeful. Uh, Finn drew a Pit Viper. Okay. Ursula... We'll draw Curse of Yig. Uh, put it into play in your threat area. You gain minus one combat, minus one health, and gain the Serpent Train as an action. Test two willpower, plus one difficulty for each vengeance point. Victory display is you see discarded. Okay. If we need to do that, we'll do that, but it's fine. Okay, Ursula. You're going to uh, explore. So we're looking for the very specific one, not that one. That one. I'm going to put it over here. Um, I think it does connect to the rope bridge, too. Funny enough. So the overgrown ruins. Five shroud, one per clues. Forest, after you enter overgrown ruins, if you are poisoned, lose all remaining actions and immediately end your turn. A dense thicket of flora obscures the route to these ruins. Tendrils of vine grip the pyramid steps as they hold on, holding on for dear life. Uh, we're going to take that action to investigate. We're going to investigate like investigate. We're going to use field work. We're going to go six to five. I will commit a wit and green to go seven to five. Beat the elder thing. And as a zero, we will get a clue. All right, second action, we're going to investigate again. I'm going I'm to commit Jake Williams. Four, five, six. Uh, and also this other Grim Memoir to go seven to five again. Yeah. Hmm. I wonder if we can get the other one too. 
Elder Sign. Holy shit. That's actually great. Yeah. I'll take it. Get a clue. And we will move. I'm going to move back here. Okay. So the question is, are we going to not take this one and just go for the finish? We can finish next turn, for sure. I think. Actually, well, there's no point to move there right now. So I think our last action will be to play another field work. And we'll just be content with those two and not get the third one. It's going to be a really tough path to get there, I think, without getting poisoned, at least. All right, Finn. You're going to be okay if this thing attacks you, so that's totally fine. We're going to evade the Pit Viper. We are four, five, six with the dissection tools to three. It's pretty good. Oh, sorry. These have been in the way the whole time. My bad. Uh, minus uh, plus one. Okay. We will evade with a bajillion. I will draw with pickpocketing. It is another you handle this one. Uh, That was a free evade. We could just move up there, evade it, and move back. That also works. <laughs> sure. Move, evade, uh, five, six to two. Is our second action. Minus two, good. And then we'll move back. That was a little risky. If we failed that, that would have been pretty bad. But we're okay. All right. Let's go to upkeep. This will ready onto Finn. Draw a card. For Finn will be another uh, hatchet man. Ooh. Get a resource. Uh, Ursula will draw. Emergency cash. Gain a resource. Okay, we are five doom out of nine. Finn will draw Voice of the Jungle. If we don't uh, explore, we're going to take a horror. We're going to do that anyway because we can't explore anymore. Ursula will... Oh, Jesus. Ursula will draw the Serpent from Yoth. Uh, three fight, five health, three evade. Humanoid monster serpent. While there are one or more vengeance points in the victor display, Serpent, of, serpent from Yoth gains retaliate. Uh, while there are two or more against Hunter, three or more takes one less damage from each attack made against it. Uh-oh. Can we deal five damage? I mean, technically, yes. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, that's a... Wow, that's a play. Uh, I think we are doing that. Yeah. Ursula, you're going to go first. You're going to try and evade the Serpent from Yoth. Finn is going to commit his Hatchet Man. Let's go. Uh, and then that's all we got. We are 5-3. to three. Actually, if this fails, that's actually kind of bad. He doesn't have Alert, so that's good, but still. Evaded? Hold on. Oh, evaded this turn. Oh, damage this turn. That's actually bad. Never mind. It doesn't get the Hatchet Man bonus. It's Finn attacks him. Okay, what the heck? Game. Finn might just have to kill it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, no, we're good. Because um, Finn's trusty 38 is one is fast. And it just gets the bonus if it's not engaged with you. So we're fine. We are fine. Uh, so we will have Finn go first. He is going to fast out his trusty 38. Um... I guess replacing the Mauser. Oh, actually, no. We're just going to... I'm going to play a hidden pocket. Hidden pocket onto this trench coat. This trench coat has pockets. Um, that costs one. And then the Finn's 30 trusty eight. Bleh, Finn's trusty 38 can uh, go into the hidden pocket slot. Because it's illicit. Okay, that was all fast. So, first action. Attack with Finn's trusty 38. We are three... Four, five, six to three. That's pretty good. Poultice are bad. But we're just going to have to risk it. Minus three. We were six to three. Three, four, five, six. Yes. So we will deal two damage. 
good. Let's do it again. Six to three. Do we have any fists? We have one fist. That doesn't really help us. So that's what we got. Zero. Good. That is four damage total. And, uh, well, I guess we just do it again. Six to three. If this fails, this would be pretty bad, I think. We still have an evade with the thing. Skull is a zero. All right, it is dead. Wow, good job, Finn. Into the victory display with you. We have a free evade action still. We will evade. Oh, we also got a evidence on dissection tools. Uh, we are uh, evading the Pit Viper. We are four, five, six to three. Zero. We will evade the Pit Viper. Use that to draw a card to pick pocketing. I don't know why I'm doing this. I'll take that. Uh, and then we'll take a whore at the end of our turn. We're going to put that on Lonnie and we're going to heal Lonnie in the trench coat for resource. All right, Ursula, it's your game to finish. So you are going to take a move action to the Ruins of Esli. You are going to trigger one field work. And then you're going to trigger your reaction. So you are four, five, six to three. Skull is a zero. We will get a clue. Then we will trigger the other field work because it's everything is after you move. So now we're six. To, we're going to investigate six to three again. Another skull. And then we will investigate as our third action. We're going to commit uh, Unearth the Ancients. To go another six to three. Elder Sign. Well, we're not going to move. <laughs> we need to be here. And we will spend our clues. So I think it's technically possible we could have... Um, Got the other one, but I think for now I'm safe. We have no poison, no trauma. We are good to go. We got a lot of victory, so I think we'll just do it. Ta-da! Discovery of a lifetime. Sorry about the green screen effect. What you have found is beyond your wildest expectations. Despite their dis uh, supposed age, the ruins appear preserved in time. Several aspects of the architecture are strangely futuristic. You set out to investigate at once. R1. Woo! All right. Uh, R1 is on the next page. Here we go. Come on. Resolution 1. Thursday, July 2nd, 1925. Somehow, after much toil and many hours of exploration, we found the ruins that Alejandro sought, though we scarcely could have been ready for what we encountered in the wilds of the jungle. The rainforest was guarded, guarded by unfathomable horrors, serpentine creatures driven by anger and hate. They hunted us relentlessly, wielding primitive weaponry and communicating in sharp hisses. Maybe just as deadly were the human natives of the forest. They appeared to be Aztec warriors as far as dress and speech were concerned. Despite the conquering of the Aztec people hundreds of years ago, these warriors somehow survived. How they managed to remain undiscovered this long is beyond us. The warrior named Ishtaka was particularly intriguing. We were able to defuse the initial encounter with her, and surprisingly she helped guide us through the jungle, only to disappear mysteriously when we reached the ruins. I have a feeling we have not seen the last of her. Alejandro did not agree with our decision to trust the Esli warriors. He has decided to stay at camp until further notice, disturbed as he is by their presence. I thought he would be excited to learn more about them, but I expect this discovery defies even his broad-minded theories. I suppose he has a right to be distrustful. Nothing about this expedition makes sense. We have cleared a route to what Alejandro believes is the main temple of the ruins. There is little time to rest. The serpent creatures seem intent on stopping us, so we cannot tarry any longer than necessary. Soon, we will enter the ruins to see what secrets they hide. 
In your campaign log, record that the investigators cleared a path to the Edgeley ruins. Recording your campaign log that Alejandro chose to remain at camp. Did not add Alejandro Vela to any investigators. Recording your campaign log that the investigators have earned Ichitaka's trust. For each vengeance point in the victory display, record one tally mark under Yig's fury in the campaign log. Beware the anger of the father of serpents, as his fury will haunt you in the future. Well, we have no vengeance in the victory display. However, we do get victory X, which is going to be... Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight XP. Very nice. Uh, proceed to interlude one, Re Restless Nights. Uh, I'm going to clean that up, and then I'll be right back. All right, and we're back. So, interlude one, Restless Night. In order, reach each, read each of the following sections, then proceed to scenario two. The Doom of Esley. Check your supplies. Each investigator with a blanket reads restful sleep. The rest read tossing and turning. So we each have a blanket. Mercifully, I was able to sleep through each night. However, while my body rested, my mind was plagued by nightmares. A cavern like a gaping maw, bathed in dim red light. The walls slithering with the glimmering of scales of a hundred vipers. Might have been better that I had not sleep at slept at all. Checker supplies, the investigators as a group must cross off one provisions per investigator from their supplies. For each provisions they cannot cross off, choose an investigator to read low on rations. So we are crossing off one provisions because that's all we have. Uh, and therefore, let's see who we're going to give this to. Um, three fewer resources. I think we give that to Finn. Yeah. Yeah. So, low on resources. Low on rations. We thought we brought enough food and water for everybody, but the journey had taken its toll on our supplies. When the sun rose and it came to eat, we discovered we were already running out of provisions. Uh, so yeah, we're going to have Finn begin the next scenario with three fewer resources. Hopefully, he'll be able to get that back pretty soon. The lead investigator must choose one investigator to be the group's lookout. Then that investigator checks their supplies. If they have binoculars, they read shapes in the trees. Otherwise, they read eyes in the dark. Uh, Ursula will choose herself to be the lookout, and she does have binoculars. Most of the nights pass without incident, but on this night I was startled by the rustling of tree branches along the southern border of our camp's clearing. Despite the darkness, I was able to use my binoculars to see shapes moving in the trees. The shapes appeared human. Why? Why do they only watch us from afar? What is their purpose? You earn two additional experience as you gain further insight into the motivation of the Esli. So Ursula has 10 unspent experience now. And finally, check your supplies. Each investigator with medicine may cross it off from, from their supplies to choose and remove a poisoned weakness from any investigator's deck. Each investigator who still has a poisoned weakness must read the poison spreads. No one is poisoned. Awesome. All right. So, Finn has 8 experience, Ursula has 10. I'm going to do upgrades, and I'll be right back. And we're back. So, Finn had 8 experience to spend. He's going to purchase 2 copies of Dirty Fighting, because that's what this deck is for. And 2 copies of the upgraded pickpocketing. So, of course, we're upgrading our pickpocketing. Uh, I'm getting rid of this leather coat and leather jacket. I know. Getting rid of the survivor card. Not going to be able to get it back once they spend experience. It's fine. We're fine. Um, I'm hopeful that the trench coats should be enough for Lonnie to hopefully heal. But uh, yeah, that's the plan. As for Ursula, we're going to be going the Ancient Stone route. Uh, yeah, I don't. I'm not sure which one I'm going to do at the end, but I'm probably going to get the damage one. To, if I'm going to be honest, I'm getting two copies of Pathfinder. Um, I we had ten experience to spend, and um, we're not playing Taboo, so Pathfinder is just one experience for us. Obviously. It's pretty good. Two copies of Witten Green upgraded, and the two copies of the Magnifying Glass. So we're upgrading Magnifying and Witten Green, and then I'm going to be cutting these Unearth the Ancients and the Eurekas. All right, so that is their upgraded decks. That scenario went very, very smoothly. Uh, I think that we basically did as best we can. Obviously, we could have gone to the other one, got two more victory, but 
it's just two victory. We'll get some more next scenario, which will uh, be next time. If you like this video, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and click the notification bell to be notified when I post a new video. It really helps out the channel. With that, this has been Superfang99, signing off.